Let's focus on the commodity space then. We have Victor Tanpriya of ANZ Research joining in for that. Victor, hi, thanks very much for joining in. Well, Brent crude is the most important commodity for the Indian markets or from a market perspective for us. It's been fairly range bound between 60 mm -hmm. and 65 dollars per barrel. Can you just tell us what your upside or downside target would be for Brent crude and what might the triggers be that we need to be watching for crucially? Uh, sure, yeah, of course. Look, um, I mean, the, the crude oil market, I think, is at quite an interesting juncture at the moment. I think the prices around where we are now, around your $65 to $70 a barrel, is the market's kind of found a bit of an equilibrium there. Um, I think if we, we, we're, we're expecting the market will trade somewhere between $55 and, and $75 a barrel probably for the next 12 months. Um, there's still a fair bit of adjustment that needs to be made in the market. The market, we think, is still going to remain um, quite oversupplied. Mm. But for the moment, it seems like there has been a bit of an equilibrium found. If we, if we get up to levels around uh, $70 um, or above $70, maybe $75 on the, on the, on the Brent, I think we're likely to see um, a fair bit of producer hedging at that level, particularly from uh, the US uh, shale oil producers. But at the same time, if we have uh, prices fall down to your 55 or somewhere south of $60 a barrel, that's historically where we've seen um, uh, end users, particularly airlines, come in um, and, and, uh, and buy uh, at, at those levels. So I think that those two um, mm -hmm. opposing forces will keep the market somewhat range bound between 55 to 75. All right, Victor, the other most important, uh, uh, important metal that, in fact, we do track is gold. So give us a view on gold. Do you believe that uh, 1250, 1250, 1300 on the cards, or do you think we're going to drift lower? I think gold prices drift lower probably over the next 12 months. Um, gold's been stubbornly range-bound for the, probably the past three to, three, three, to, three to six months, just trading between that 1170 up to, up to 1220, 1230 area. We had a, had a pretty good uh, attempt at a lower break um, after the non-farm payrolls on Friday where we touched uh, 11.65 on the lows, um, but the market's really traded back up. I think that the, the price action that, that I've just described and what's been occurring over the past six months just shows that there isn't a lot of confidence in the gold market, which way it's going to go. Um, the biggest driver, I, I continue to think, it will be how the, how the US dollar and how the interest rate uh, situation in the US evolves. Um, you know, the, the data in the U.S. has been somewhat a little bit better over the past mm. few weeks after having quite a, quite a poor run. Uh, Q1 GDP was, uh, was, uh, was negative. So um, the market is still toying with whether the Fed's going to go in September or, or December. And some people are now talking about potentially Q1 2016. Um, but that's going to be an environment that's, uh, that where gold doesn't trade with a lot of conviction. We still think that, um, that, that over time the U.S. will continue to recover and be the, uh, the engine of growth uh, in the world. That will mean a higher U.S. dollar. That will mean a lower gold price uh, in U.S. dollars. But I think it's important to note as well that when the U.S. dollar rallies, rallies it doesn't just rally against gold. It rallies against uh, a lot of other currencies as well. And in, in, in euro terms, for example, or even in, in INR terms, uh, gold and, and Australian dollar terms, gold has actually um, been performing uh, quite, quite strongly over the past 12 months. Okay, Victor, we leave it on that note. Thanks very much for joining in and talking to us about uh, the gold prices as well as Brent crude prices. Well,